on your mark. Get set. Go! Basketball, and why is that? Well, the NBA All Star Game is being celebrated right here in Orlando. It's 1992, it's February, and we have some special players we would like to introduce to you. Starting to my left, they are dressed in red and they call themselves the Two Legit Team. <laughs> and participating on this team, to my immediate left, starting on the far end, is Mr. Wayman Tisdale from the Sacramento Kings. We have a young lady by the name of Emily, a gentleman by the name of Jeremy, and from the LA Clippers, Mr. Charles Smith. Good. We welcome all these folks. Now, Emily, you were a uh, contestant in a mall show that we did out uh, yeah. in Massachusetts. And you ended up here today, huh? Yep. How about uh, you, Jeremy? Yeah, I, I was in a mall, too. In what uh, city? Uh, I was in, I'm not sure what city, but it was in Oregon. In Oregon somewhere. All right. And he ended up here, won a contest. Man has no idea where he was, but here he is. Now, Mr. Tisdale, you are from the Sacramento Kings, and, uh, boy, you've had a, a great career. You were on the 84 U.S. Olympic team, and uh, I understand that you like to play music a lot. Yes, I am a musician. Uh, so when your career is over with, is that the direction you're heading? I, I have my own production company, and uh, we're looking towards that direction. Very nice. What instrument do you play? I play the bass. Very nice. Well, we wish you a lot of luck. Now, you're playing for... Uh, for charity today, all of our players are, and uh, what charity are you playing for, sir? Uh, the Magic Johnson Research uh, Foundation. Foundation. Very good, thank you. And Mr. Smith, 1988 U.S. Olympic team, NBA's all-rookie first team in your rookie year, having a, an okay season so far, huh? Yeah, not too bad. I can't complain about it. Well, that's good to hear. Tell me about uh, what charity you'll be playing for today. I'm playing for the Charles Smith Educational Center, which is set up in my hometown, Bridgeport, Connecticut and it helps children far beyond books. Very good, thank you so much. Welcome to our show. We have a team to our right. They're gonna try and stop this red team. They are dressed in blue and they call themselves the O-Town Posse. Yeah. And let's meet these players individually, starting to my far right. From the Golden State Warriors and many other great teams, the NBA, the ABA, Mr. Rick Berry. Yeah. From Orlando, Florida, a young lady by the name of Aisha. Nice to have you here on our show. From Orlando also, a gentleman by the name of Sean. And also a very talented gentleman from Milwaukee and Detroit, Mr. Bob Lanier. Yes! <laughs> Both uh, all-star players on this side are members of the Basketball Hall of Fame. Very talented gentleman. Uh, now, Aisha, how did you end up here today? School. So you had a, school what, a little contest there and brought yeah. you down here? How about you, Sean? Um, I had a school audition also. And you did really well, and you're here on stage with us today. Yep. Now, Rick, I, I followed your career because I was an ABA fan with the Indiana Pacers. You have so many records. I don't know where to start. Ten years in the NBA, four years in the ABA. The only player to lead the NCAA, NBA, and ABA in scoring. The all-time NBA leader in free throws. You know what your percentage is? Ninety. Nine, yeah, 900 percent this man shot. Not bad, huh? Did you ever think you would know? <laughs> Seven all-star games. <laughs> Now, Bob, you were in eight NBA All-Star games. Uh, you ranked 12th on the all-time NBA scoring list. How many points? Do you know? Not the slightest idea. 19,000 or something. Yeah, around 19,000. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and uh, what was the toughest player you ever played against? You think? Wow. Toughest to check, obviously, Kareem. Uh, toughest defender, Nate Thurman. A lot of good players out there, huh? Ooh, a lot of good sons. And uh, what uh, charity are we playing for on this side? Bob Lanier Foundation, Buffalo, New York for young people who deserve a chance. All right. All that money that you win will be going to that team as well. Let's get started. Uh, tell you a little bit about the rules. I'm going to be asking you a question. If you don't know the answer, think the other team doesn't have a clue, you can always dare them for double the dollars. But be careful because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount. And then you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Good luck to the O-Town Posse. $20 on the board here for the two legit team and this $10 question. Michael Jordan is famous for this, but it's also something that you do with cookies and milk. 
What is it? It's worth 10 or you could dare them. Dunking. Dunk, dunk is right. Add $10. Yeah. Dunking will work. $30 now for Wayman, Emily, Jeremy, and Charles and another $10 question. Now, I'm not sure how big a basketball fan she really is, but the Roseanne, who used to be known as Barr, is now known by what last name? Would bring you up to $40 or you could dare them. Roseanne changed her last name. What is it? Or you could dare them. Dare. Now worth $20. Could get you on the board for the first time. Roseanne used to be known as Barr, but she's now known by what last name? Arnold. Arnold is right. $20 yeah. now for the O-Town Posse. They take control away from the two legit team. The highest score ever recorded in an international basketball, basketball game was when Iraq beat Yemen at the 1982 Asian Games. Do you, do you smell the physical challenge coming on here or what? <laughs> How many points did Iraq score in that game? It's worth 10 or you could dare them. I think we'll dare. Whatever uh, happens, we got to dare them. Yeah. Dare. Dare, now worth $20. Uh, highest score ever in a basketball game internationally was Iraq and Yemen. How many points did Iraq score? Or you could double dare them back, which is what we hope you do. Double dare. Double dare. Now worth 40, you're going to take a physical challenge. Yes. Physical challenge. Yes. <laughs> uh, 251 points. Yemen only scored 33. We have a physical challenge. Basketball, although you may think it was created in Springfield, Massachusetts, started many, many years ago. It was a prehistoric game, and in fact, to get you in the mood, we have some loincloths that we would like to put on you folks, just to make you feel at home here. And I believe this is for you, Bob, uh, so if you could just put that on just like that. And we're going to put one on this gentleman as well. And what you must do, this is the way the old balls used to look. And when I uh, say go, you got to take one of these things and kind of uh, do a, uh, there you go, a dunk. Whoa, look at that. Yes, well. I used to play a little basketball myself, but you don't get to do one of those dunks. How do you feel, sir? I feel like a caveman. Yeah, okay, well, that's good. And what you must do when I say go is to pick up one of these boulders and not dunk it, but by doing a shot such as this or an underhand shot, get five of those to score inside that hoop in 20 seconds or less. If you do that, $40 goes on your side of the board. Otherwise, it's going to the other team. Can they do it? Let's find out. Pardon me, from right there, sir. No, you can't go up there. You see, this is a game show, sir. The point of this is to see if you can actually get it. There you go. See, it's not fun. You're too tall. You could do it over there, right? Right. Okay. Easy. Easy. I want it to be hard for you. All right. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go! Posse, you were just playing with me there. I could tell, Bob. You knew what you were doing. You were in great shape there. We had $40. You now have 60 in the lead. And this question right here. If Will Chamberlain holds the NBA single season record for rebounds at 2,149, and Maurice Cheeks holds the NBA career record for steals at 2,194, and Magic Johnson holds the NBA playoff record for assists at 2,142, then what is the second largest planet in our solar system? <laughs> <laughs> it's worth 10 you could dare them. <laughs> see, it's a basketball theme show, folks. You see, O Town Posse, I need an answer. Or you have to dare him. Saturn, Saturn is right. Ten dollars over there brings you up to seventy. Very nice. Seventy for the blue team. Thirty over. Now you guys started off great. What's happening, guys? Well, we haven't. You know, see, we're good at making we're comebacks. Right Big comebacks. Oh, yeah, we're in the comeback. All righty. <laughs> Although Kareem Abdul-Jabbar may have been famous for his scut... Oh, and that's on. Are we done already with round one? I cannot believe it. I'm having a good time up here. That is the end of round one. And that's the end of round one. special with some very talented folks here. Now, you were trying to cheat. You're telling me already. I'm getting I ready to do this. My feet are so big, sometimes I might kick the bucket. I'm yeah, scared. Just may, you know, make them lose or something. This is round two. All the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear this sound right here, 
That means the game is over. These are the buckets we were talking about, a blue one and a red one. Walk this way. There is nothing in those buckets currently, but in just a second, we have some goopy liquid over here, and it's red, and it's filled with towels over here. And what you must do, sir, is pick up that towel, send it over to your partner, who then must eventually pass it over to you, sir, and you wring it out, okay, just like that. Now, they'll be doing the same thing on the blue team. The first team to go past the line gets $40 in control of round one, and let me tell you, you guys really need those dollars. Okay, good luck. Cheer them on. On your mark. Get set. Go! And Charles, I regret to tell you that these guys beat you just by a little bit, so uh, they, uh, they have added $40. We're old, but we're good. <laughs> Bob says we're old, but we're good. Uh, we're going to carry on in this round where it's 20, 40, and then 80 on a double dare. Still anybody's ball game, and we're going to find out who's going to that obstacle course. Although Kareem Abdul-Jabbar may have been famous for his sky hook, who played Captain Hook in Steven Spielberg's Hook? We're 20, or you could dare them. Dustin Hoffman. He is right. Dustin Hoffman at 20. You're now up to 130. The Old Town Posse has a very good lead. Indiana Pacer Bob Nedelicki of the old ABA owned a restaurant in Indianapolis. What was the name of that restaurant? I smell another physical challenge coming on. They won't know. Worth 20. Dear. Dear, now worth $40. Indiana Pacer Bob Nedelicki owned a restaurant in Indianapolis called what? Or you could double dare them back. Double dare. Now worth 80, you gotta take a physical challenge. No, we wanna answer it, right? Nettos. Nettos, absolutely right. Yeah. Nettos. Yeah. Nettos. Yeah. That's what old folks can ask for that us. <laughs> now, Rick, Rick am, am I correct in assuming that you may have stopped into that restaurant a time or two? Uh, I think I kind of remember it a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll talk after the show. Uh, the old ABA may have had basketballs that were red, white, and blue, but what color blood cells transport oxygen in the human body? Is it red, white, or plaid? Red. Red is right. Another $20 for the Oak Town Posse. $240. Which of these did New York's David Stein do on June 6th, 1988? Did he win the New York City Marathon? Or did he win the 1984 Slam Dunk Competition? Or did he make a 50-foot long soap bubble? Would bring it to 260 or you could dare them? No, no, he didn't win the Marathon. He didn't win the Marathon. He didn't answer, team. The soap bubble? He is right. It was 50 feet long. Another $20. <laughs> now, Rick. I love this kind of stuff. How do you know this stuff? I, I'm, I'm kind of like one of those, you know, weirdo people who likes, uh, likes trivia stuff. Okay, well, let's see if we can get you on this one. Holy cow. On October 28, 1973, Elmore Smith set the NBA record for most block shots in one game. How many did he block? Bring it to 280 or you could dare them. Need an answer. Dare. They are now worth $40, guys. Uh, They're setting us up. <laughs> See, they were playing when, the, when, the, when he was setting these records. I don't, yeah, I don't, I don't follow fair. basketball. I just play it. <laughs> you don't follow your play. I, don't I, just so I have play. a feeling a double oh, dare is in order here. It, um, How many block shots uh, is the record? You want to double dare him back? Uh, I, no, 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 I'd no, double no, dare him no, if no. I were you. Oh, okay. Uh, double dare. Double dare. Okay, now worth $80. You're going to take a physical challenge. What happens we're, we're, if we don't get the right answer? Uh, they get $80 over there. Uh, I think the audience would like to see a physical challenge. Physical challenge. The answer was 17 block shots. 17. Come down here, gentlemen. We have all of you. And ladies. All of you. You go down over there, and uh, I tell you what, you start, start down there, and I need you to come right over here, and you come right over here. Stand right over there, if you would, sir, Mr. Lanier, because you will notice that we have this clear plastic tube. But in just a second, we will not have it clear any longer, because we have some of that famous green slime coming up over here. Are you sure you don't want Rick to do this one? No, no, I want you to do this, uh, Bob, because when I say go, that'll start coming out, and that green slime will come right there in that uh, container. 
then your job is to lean over and uh, make sure that that green slime goes in this container right over here. But we have a small problem. There are some holes, and that green slime will sort of leak out on top of you, okay? <laughs> then you must lean over onto this gentleman's uh, container, put more green slime there. We have more holes coming down over there. And uh, gosh, what do we have for you, Rick? Well, lots of holes. And uh, put that on your head, because then you must take that, put it in there, and then you must lean over here and put the green slime in this container. If it goes past the line in 20 seconds, you can kneel down. You can do whatever you like. 20 seconds is what you have to fill it past the line. Otherwise, 80 dollars going over here and they need that money good luck on your mark get set go The man, the man looks like the Hulk. How about a round of applause for Mr. Bob Lanier and Rick Ferry? Bob, what's more, what's more fun, winning an NBA uh, championship or, or playing double there? Come on. Well, obviously, this must be. Oh, absolutely. There you go. All right, we have another. <laughs> you should have guessed. Oh, that's on me. the end of the game with $260. The Old Town Posse wins today's game. We're going to be seeing you folks over at the uh, obstacle course. Now, two legit team, somehow you have managed to stay amazingly clean, okay? Now, let me tell you, first of all, we have $110 for your charity. We're going to double that, make that $220, and uh, you guys will divide that for your two charities. Emily, Jeremy, thank you for being part of the show. I have a feeling we're going to see Wayman and Charles on our obstacle course. Uh, over here, we have $260. we are going to double that, make that $520 for the O-Town Posse team for their charity. And I'd like to say thank you to Aisha and Sean. We're going to do a great uh, obstacle course, but we have some uh, lovely parting gifts. And, Harvey, why don't you tell us what they are? Sure, Mark. How about Electric Brain's haunted high school thriller, Ghoul School? Explore 250 rooms. Find spirit ridden weapons. Take on countless schools and rescue your kids. That's the Welcome back to the NBA All-Star Double Dare Special. And Aisha, you get to start off on the obstacle course on number one. The veterans won, but we're going to see some of the other players here. This is the gumball machine. You'll start off on the top of that platform. That is where the flag is. Grab it before you jump down. Come down over here. And not only are we giving prizes, but we're giving money away. This one's worth $25. And what else, Harvey? How about quad hockey, the fast air-powered eight-sided action game. And one-on-one, -on -one, the exciting electronic basketball game that lets you play five different games in one. And it's all from Sportcraft. Number two today is the suspension bridge. I was surprised how competitive you are. I cannot believe this. Everyday life like this for you? Uh, no, just when we get involved in things like this, I mean, you have to try your best regardless of what it is. That's absolutely right. Well, we are going to see how uh, quickly you can go across our suspension bridge. This obstacle is worth $25 as well. You will grab flag number two, and here is prize number two. It's the Singalodeon. Sing along with your favorite hits and make a recording with your own Singalodeon. In Japan, it's karaoke. In America, it's Singalodeon by Lone Star. Number three is in one ear, and Sean, you've been having a good time today? Yeah, sure have. Well, let me tell you what you're going to do on this one. We have lots of earwax over here, and you will dive on through this side and come out the other side. There is a flag. It's number three. Don't forget to grab it. This obstacle is worth $50, and this prize... A Schwinn Mountain Bike from your local dealer, which offers Schwinn's latest selection of bikes and fitness equipment. Schwinn. New bikes. New thinking. Wayman, you like Mexican food? Love it. Love it. Did you ever think you would be a part of a Mexican dish? Not a burrito. Not a burrito. Maybe a chimichanga or something. But... 
<laughs> for 20 extra dollars, spell chimichanga. Oh, uh, well, hey, don't, leave, don't put me on that one. <laughs> okay. Burrito <laughs> surprise. This more than four letters I have trouble with. <laughs> I see. Well, you must dive through all that stuff. We have beans and we have uh, sour cream and we have all sorts of good stuff. Meet me on the other side because that is where the flag is. Your partner will be waiting over there. That's obstacle number four. This one's worth $50. And what else, Harvey? It's a camera, the Vivitar 320Z compact auto focus camera with built-in power zoom lens. Beautiful 35 millimeter pictures from scenic to portraits. And it's from Vivitar. Charles, do you know anything about cars? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Man of a few words. Uh, I don't either. This is called oil change, though. You're tall enough to look up here. There is a flag somewhere. If you grab that flag in record time, you will not only receive a prize, but your charity will get an additional $100. Tell them what the prize is, though, Harvey. This time, Mark, the Magnavox forehead VCR with on-screen display. It's smart. Very smart. Easily programs up to four events with a 45-function remote control, and it's from Magnavox. Aisha, this is probably the most famous obstacle of our entire show, and this is called the Sunday Slide. A different ladder, though. Get up there as quickly as you can. Slide on down. Feet first. We have some chocolate. We have whipped cream. We have sprinkles. We also have $100. And what else, Harvey? GE's Portable Home Theater. It's a 9-inch cable-ready stereo TV with tape recorder, AM, FM radio, detachable speakers, and remote control. Great for your bedroom or summer home. Bob, generally we don't have to worry about somebody fitting into this thing, but you're just about the same size as this. Would you like me to demonstrate it for you? Would you? Yes, I'd be happy to. In fact, let's grab somebody over here. This gentleman right over here. Why don't you help me out? Hi, sir. What's your name? Taylor. Taylor, right over here. Why don't you show Mr. Lanier how to do the drum roll? You get in here and you walk forward as fast as you can. Go ahead. Just push. There you go. Walk very quickly. Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop. And once you get to the end, you will find out. Boom. You all right, Taylor? Yeah. Was that fun? Yeah. And say, Harvey, tell them what they'll win. Harvey, what will you win? There you go. <laughs> this time, it's Magnavox Movie Maker. It's smart, very smart. Eight to one power zoom and so light sensitive you can get accurate color in low light condition from Magnavox. We'll add $100 to that prize as well. And number eight, the garbage truck is for you, Sean. And you will watch this area over here because it's filled with lots of good garbage. But you'll grab that flag from number seven. You'll run over here. You'll take this handle and pull it in this direction. That garbage will come over here. It will fall on top of you. Look for that flag. If you have it in your hand before the time runs up, you'll get 250 additional dollars and this prize. <laughs> Generally, we only give you 60 seconds, but we have some veterans over here like uh, Bob Lanier, and we also have Mr. Rick Berry. Now, Rick, since you're a little bit older, we're going to add some time to the clock, okay? Uh, well, I think that's great, and I'm glad you said veterans and not old times. No, no, veterans. Add another second. Make it 61 seconds. There, if you would, please. 61. That'll do. You're a big spender. Yeah, heck, why not? All right, audience, cheer them on. Let's see how these players and these contestants run this course. On your mark. Get set. Go!
show is taped before a live studio audience at Nickelodeon Studios at Universal.